Hello! In this video, you will learn how to create a project with SCADE Test Rapid Prototyper. I will give you a brief overview of the widgets library and the connection with SCADE Suite. Rapid Prototyper enables a simple workflow. You create your panel, typically building it with the widget library, then define and connect their inputs and outputs. You save your models and can generate automatically standalone executables in one click. These executables can target Windows, Android, or iOS platforms. Once you've created a project, you can easily add components to the control panel with drag and drop. There is a library of predefined widgets available for quick and easy design. The distributed library includes various interactive control widgets, such as buttons, knobs, sliders, list boxes, radio buttons, text and numerical entry boxes, Display widgets, like LEDs, counters, text and numerical indicators, and signal generators. The library of widgets is meant to be easily user customized, and this library is extensible with custom widgets. All widgets can be associated to input and or output variables. Rapid Prototyper can be used for different simulation environments, ranging from SCADE Suite applications to ANSYS Simplor, or any tool with any FMI standardized interface connectivity. It enables FMU generation for distributed network simulation in FMI compliant tools. This enables to drive from the ANSYS Simplor tool multi-physics simulation sessions in a more comfortable and interactive fashion. Let's focus on the integration with SCADE Suite, the model-based development environment. Open your model that implements the behavior of your graphical panel. Insert your Rapid Prototyper panels, one or several. Now, connect your graphical panel to your model. Then, go to this icon and generate your file with this button. And here is the final panel that I can drive in my simulation. I'm setting it in continuous mode and evaluate the evolutions in the different simulation windows. When playing with the buttons, I can see my model states and values evolving at the same time. That's a very efficient way to validate your requirements at early stages of the project. Thank you.